Visual artists and scrapbookers seem to accumulate boxes and boxes and sacks and sacks of scrap papers. We cannot resist collecting interesting designs and old papers and ephemera. Sometimes it becomes almost too overwhelming. Making a junk journal as a rack or a random act of kindness for a friend is an excellent solution for using all of those odds and ends we have on hand and also sharing your art. Hi, I have a show and tell and what this is is it's a junk journal that I'm sending as a rack project Rack, R-A-K, Random Act of Kindness. I'm sending it to one of the ladies in our art group who sent me some tags, and along with these tags, she sent me packages of fabrics and papers and embellishments and just a whole lot. So I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to use some of these things and send them back to her. So I created a junk journal for her. And uh, as you can see on here, here's some embossed paper she sent to me, and I inked it, and some embossed heart tags, shapes that she cut out, corrugated paper, and these embellishments here. I don't know how much of these you can see. There's some maple leaf embellishments here, and... Uh, this vellum paper with the text she'd sent me. The lace was mine and then under here and on the back this is from Graphics 45 Country French Line. So and this is a Tim Holtz compass medallion. And then I bound it the moleskin way with the little elastic binding so that you can open and close easy. In fact I like to I like to open it this way. And when I, I have five signatures here, and you can see the signatures, there's five of them, and the paper measures across, uh, I believe it's nine and a half by five and a half, it may be nine by five and a half, I don't remember exactly to have to measure. <laughs> so, you yeah, open it up, oh, and then when I, when I sewed the signatures in, I did the, the, just kind of the stab and I think they call it the Coptic stitch, but I'm not too sure because I'm not really into book binding. But I let my threads hang down and then at the end when I got ready to put the uh, spine on there, I made a tassel out of the threads that I used to sew all the, the signatures in. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through, kind of talk about some of the pages. I'll try not to bore you. <laughs> this is some uh, Seven Gypsies tape. I just love. I want more of it. I wish I could find more of it. I can't. I don't know where all this paper come from. I think this is die cuts with a view, but I'm not positive on that. It may be K and Company. It's a, a steampunk paper. I found these rub-ons, butterflies and insects at a Goodwill and so I picked them up and I'm just I'm just so happy to use them because they fit right on here they look like they're a part of the paper I have several of these throughout this book some accounting paper there's a, a tag from that country branch you can use these as journaling spots I'm hoping that she'll actually use this because she could she could record happy thoughts or maybe um, things that happen throughout her day or for the rest of the year things she wants to remember just maybe common everyday events. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping to use it for. So we did a, a coffee filter book with a Chinese theme. I have a video of that that I put up. And here's some paper left over from that. I went to a the Jersey Boys play last summer. And here's for a program from that theater. It has some nice quotes on here. Um, we all love, yeah. it's our way of encouraging you to seize the day and indeed the season. I like this one. Summer is sweet, but it slips away. Here it is August already. Here's that Japanese, the other side of that Japanese paper, Chinese paper. See, the Chinese or Japanese, I can't read it, so I don't know which. 
This is some embossed paper that she sent, and I believe this is probably Tim Holtz paper. I'm thinking it is, but she sent it like that, and she sent it as a tag, but it was too tall to fit in there, so I clipped it off and made a tag and then just used the other as an embellishment. She can journal on the back of that or put a picture. More journaling spots here. There's another one of those butterflies. The other side of that steampunk paper. Then here's some more graphic 45 paper and another one of my butterflies, rub-ons. The ticket paper. I believe this is Tim Holtz. And then I actually, if you can see here, I actually cut the little tickets out of the bottom. I thought that was fun. And she can journal on them. Maybe put a picture there. More journaling spot, another little rub on. She sent some maps of, uh, looks like a, it was a park in uh, Washington State. She won't have to journal on all these pages because there's no spots. She might put a picture or something in there. More journaling. Here's another one of those maps. See, here's where I used to sew those. Here's that red tag, and then I sewed them down there, and then brought all the threads through and made a tassel at the bottom. More journaling spots. Maps. Journaling. <laughs> She's got plenty of places to write if she wants. This is the actual envelope that she mailed everything to me in, so I had to use it. This happens to be the back side of it, but put a grasshopper on the back. <laughs> so, this was some paper I had around, but she sent this. So she gets it back as a, as a tag in her junk journal. And then some fabric mesh, a very soft mesh. I thought this was awfully pretty paper. She sent that. So she gets it back as a journaling spot. And then here are some epoxy tags or alphabets. I'm not too much into making these or using Halloween and uh, I use them but when I use them I paint over them with enamel paint and these are just some that I had left. I have about two pages, two or three pages of these in there. I thought they were fun. <laughs> some music paper. Here's the other side of those alphabets. Other side there, more mesh. Here's the other side of that envelope. Be a good journaling spot to write a quote. Maybe document a swap that she received. This was from a shopping bag uh, from one of the stores here in Madison. It was a department store for high-end clothing for women and men. And it went out of business and had all these shopping bags and I got it to thrift. <laughs> and I used it and used it and used it until I couldn't use it anymore. And uh, so now I'm using it in my uh, recycled and junk journals and art projects. This is one of those rub-on butterflies that I had. This was a Xyron sticker sheet. Of course, I painted on it because it's, it's very wet paper. It's a sticker sheet, so I can put paint on there and I use it kind of as a palette. Well, I'd run some stickers through, and I didn't want to waste this size, so I had some scrap paper. Ran This is Seven Gypsies paper, I believe. Some more of that country French paper. Made some tags for journaling or pictures or whatever she wants to do. Just this is all paper I had on hand. It's nice just to use it. And we did a card swap, and this was from the ladies' diary. We did a teacup theme, or I did a teacup theme, it was embossed vellum theme, and this was the scrap, and I, I cut the teacup out of here, and I like that shape, and so here's some torn wallpaper, so I used that as the background, and made a tag, and had some journaling spot on there. More blank papers for her to write on here. This is the other side of that wallpaper. This is that lady's diary. It's upside down, but that's what a junk journal is for. <laughs> so, kind of flip through. So you can put pictures or write or staple things in there. Here's the other side of that shopping bag, designer store. Here's the envelope that she mailed to me. I just love it to get these type of envelopes in the mail. I, I put a rub on on there. But look at these stamps. And then there's the postage on there. Of course, she can write on the back. Here's some more of those 
alphabet stickers. On the other side of some more of those maps from that Washington Park in Washington. Here's a towel that I've used to clean one of my stencils or spray through the stencils. This was with Delusions and it soaked into the alphabet stencil. I just thought that was cool. <laughs> so I saved it. Here's the other side of it. Just more for decorative than anything. Here's some fabric lace. Some more of that uh, towel with the alphabet. And here you go with the map again. Letters. And then on here I'm going to hold my hand here because this is her return address. I don't want that to show. It'll mean something to her, but I don't want it to show on the video. So she can journal on there, and then here's the back cover. So I'll be documenting this. I like to put this together. I actually like to to put it to get the use the elastic from the bottom instead of the front. It just seems to work better. So there it is. I hope she enjoys her random act of kindness junk journal. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel because I hope to be doing more of these types of projects and showing you more of them in the future. Thank you very much.